Hi everyone, so today I have a few new fun things to share with you from Spellbinders, some new items they brought to their site for their March releases. Uh, it happens to be the Stampendous Hope of Spring collection. Uh, I think this one's called Joy of Spring, but basically um, they're from the same spring collection. Uh, to make quick cards, and I think there are some stamp sets also available, some new stamp sets that coordinate back with all of this. So uh, they did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own, and any links out in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchasing through those links. So thanks for do using them, for doing that, <laughs> when you can. Um, what I want to do is open this up real quick. So these are essentially to make quick cards. Now, I know having said that, you're going to say, oh, well, you have these pieces here. We are going to fussy cut these guys. So um, you see it says quick cards. Colorful sheets of art drawn and painted by Fran of Stampendous to create beautiful cards and make them your own by adding touches of glitter, glue, stems, and sequins, you know, things like that. So as you can see here, I mean, you know, if you have a die cutting machine that can read this and cut around the edges for you, you can definitely do that. Um, you can use just like an oval die or a circle die or whatever die that might work to cut these out. You can cut them out just rectangularly. You can fussy cut them, right? So we have these beautiful images. It looks like there are two sheets, two sheets of each design type here. See the little hummingbirds, so cute. Love these little guys. We have like little um, beautiful kind of peony type rows. Peony rose? Yeah. <laughs> Cabbage rose type of thing with the butterfly, the hydrangea there. Look at this little birdie. Beautiful flowers. And then, um, you know, like a little fluttering kind of animal to go with them. We have these guys. You can cut them out individually. You can, you know, again, cut them out in a whole strip there. You have sentiments, you know, happy birthday, thinking of you today, thank you. So, of course, you can cut these guys too. Enjoy your special day. May you have a splendid birthday. So many tag dies you have, rectangular dies take them to a paper trimmer, all those kinds of things. So just have fun, you know, cutting those out in different ways. So we have those. And then there are these guys, which are really cool. This is the quick card background. So these are backgrounds already ready to go. They're very artsy. Um, really cool. So let me bring these guys out. So what we're going to do today is uh, put together, you know, a quick card there. You can see kind of what that's about. Um, Joy of Spring, like I said, four, eight and a half by 11 sheets, two designs. So look at this. I mean, look at the colors on here. So again, they have like some, um, what looks kind of like, like stenciling with like texture paste, you know, it has that look. And uh, funny enough, I was thinking as I was opening these things, oh, I should maybe put some texture paste just to show you how you can add a little something more. It doesn't have to be flat, but it's very um, dimensional looking already with all the colors, the stamping. I mean, there's all kinds of fun things on this. And then this one, oh, how pretty. So this one's a little more pops of color, where this one's a little more muted, but again, very springy. Very much what I would do if I was just putting together a sheet that I wanted to, you know, color in and do fun things with. Look at that. So I think what I'm going to do is grab a card base. Um, and then we'll fussy cut one of these guys out and we'll use a sentiment so we can kind of have an idea of how that goes together. Uh, and I think what I'll do with this is maybe cut it with a die. So let me grab a card base, a die that coordinates for that size, and then we'll I move forward this, from there. Um, set. It is the Postage Edge set from Spellbinders. Really lovely set. And, you know, I kind of showed these before. May work with them a little bit, but I do want you to notice that, like, this isn't even the largest one. There's still a larger uh, die here, but this does nest right into an A2 size really nicely. So I did grab an A2 size card base. Again, that's four and a half by five and a half. So if you're making your own, you want a piece of paper that's five and a half inches tall, eight and a half inches wide, and scored at four and a quarter. But this die, the one that goes right above it, will cut you a whole card, you know, front, which is really lovely. Um, but I do want just, maybe some of that Christmas or the white. Maybe we'll add something in the background. I don't know. Uh, but for right now, let's use, oh, these are all so pretty. Uh, let's go super colorful. And even if you chose like this side, you know, you still get some of that pink and it's just a little less bright. We have this down here. I'm looking at these birds. You know what? I'm going to go with this top corner because maybe I'll use this little guy. So I'm going to run that through. And again, you can still do some inking, some, you know, stenciling, which maybe is what we'll do just to add a little something else. But I'm going to run this through and I'll be right back. So have that very easy. And generally what I would do is go ahead and stencil on this, especially if I'm using like a paste and things. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and stick it down because then I can just move on. <laughs> so I got something in my throat. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. And so what I was saying is I'm going to stencil right on that. Just be careful. And that way I can move on with the rest of my project instead of having to wait and try to push this down and glue this down and all that. But again, I'm going to leave that crisp white edge, quite a bit of it. So we have that. And that came from the same paper that had all the, like, the purple and the pink and things like that. So, I mean, 
really cute. So actually, I was thinking about cutting out one of these little guys, but I thought, you know what? I have those little pocket dies um, recently that um, Kath, and, I was going to say Kath Holden, it might be Kathy, honestly, I'm not sure, because it has an E, but maybe you don't say the E, <laughs> but anyway, um, I think what I'm going to do is grab these guys, and I'm going to fussy cut these guys, so we have, yeah, this little set of butterflies here, so right now I'm just going to cut the whole thing so we can just fussy cut them, maybe a little bit closer over here, leaving whatever space I might need there later if I want to cut those words, I don't want to interfere too much with that, so we're going to have these guys. And let me grab the little pocket um, dies so and I'll be right back. This set here, and again, like I said, I have samples. And sometimes they come packaged, obviously different than when you would receive. We do also have this little spot that if you want to make like a little aperture, a little opening in there, super cute. Um, and then little note cards and all kinds of things. But I'm going to run this through. Oh, that's interesting. I was going to use a pink. Hmm. Do you want to use green? Oh, it has white dots on the other side. That's pretty cute, actually. So, look. Okay, so this is just a scrap of paper I have in my stash here that I will run through. I'm just trying to see where I can use the least of this paper. Maybe here. Oh, but then the dots will be sideways. So let's make sure. Uh, the dots are going to be showing, I think. So let's just run it through here. I'm going to run that through just to have it and have an idea of what I'm doing. And then um, we'll continue from there. Okay, so I have that rolled out. And again, these little envelopes are super easy. Just them over on the score lines they have obviously pre-made for you they're just in there hopefully you can see them and then on this one I'm just gonna fold up one of these bases or the top it's basically symmetrical so <laughs> there we go and then I'll have like the butterflies coming out of the little pocket I think that'd be really cute and I had mentioned maybe texture paste or something like that but you know it does take a little minute to, to dry so what I'm gonna do is take this puff dotty stencil new stencil from the latest releases here and there are some dots already on here but what I'm gonna do since the, there's a lot of like blue and things on these um, butterflies is I'm just gonna grab some blue ink and add a little something blue uh, let's see so I have a kind of a deep blue I'm just gonna not dip into it too much but again it's already on here and I'm just gonna have fun with this so I'm just gonna come in here and just kind of hold it wherever I think I want to hold that just get that down and you know just have fun just like that and maybe over here generally whenever you do something like this you want to put it like in three spots <laughs> so that's just the rule of threes and I'm always abiding by that okay so look at that just adding some blue for those little guys and then this guy I'm just gonna go ahead and close this up and since I did use ink, it's not going to take you know a while to dry. But again, I would have just stuck that down. I would have just put some texture paste through there and kept working. And that would be great. So let's see here. I'm just going to put some glue down here. So I'm not exactly sure where all this goes, but pretty good. Pretty good. Right there. And I'm probably going to place it here. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down and I'm just using glue glue but if you want to use hot glue or something like that that'd be great right in here and then <laughs> I giggled because I was like where are my cutter bees <laughs> I cut my own hair the other day um, just because people are always doing like this unicorn haircut or the wolf haircut kind of thing and I was like you know I do have some ends I want to cut off so yeah I just gathered my hair all in the front and you put it like a pony right in the very front of your hair you pull it out and you cut it but then you have to have to thin it a little bit and I use these scissors so I was just like did I put these back yet they are here okay so we are going to fussy cut and so again I mean if you want to dye and have just like a strip of these little butterflies or whatever that's great but I'm gonna go around and with fussy cutting you know it's up to you how much you like to leave uh, you want to be right on the line closer I always feel like once I start getting it see how it was kind of farther out now I'm much closer I get closer and closer then I go back and finish it up but um, just going in there and like I always say with fussy cutting you move your paper with your non-dominant hand and just squeeze apply pressure with on your scissors with the dominant hand so I'm just instead of kind of going like this which leaves like little marks you're just applying pressure here and moving your paper with your other hand and again when you get to antenna do you want to leave them do you take them off obviously with this one I'm going to leave them 
Just getting close. And then how close do you want them? What I'm going to do is remove this. Generally, I try to get as close as I can to the paper. You know, do I want to go in between each one or just kind of go across the whole thing? A lot of times I'll start with a little bit of something like in here and then I'll see like, oh, that didn't look that great. I'll just go back and get in there. But I'll just do that. And again, still applying pressure. And just go in places like this. And you can always finish that up by just coming in from a different angle. Clipping that off. And you just keep going. So I'll do that for all three. Okay, so I have my little butterflies here, you know. Uh, I'm a pretty quick fussy cutter, but uh, obviously it'll take a little time depending on how quickly you fussy cut, if that's what you choose to do. But again, dies with a nice, you know, edge would be really a uh, fun way to cut these guys out. So um, I want to pop these on here, and I want them coming out of the pocket, but I feel like this design is the better one to come out of the pocket, you know. And then these other guys, I mean, this guy looks like he's facing this way, and maybe this guy kind of coming out here. So what we can do is, maybe what I'll do is pick up his little wing there just to give it some dimension and still kind of have him coming out of here and I will definitely put some glue on his little antenna because I did get closer on that one or maybe something like that so here he's on his way out and this guy's over here let's put some dimension on that one and then so a fun way to get some dimension but still have it down sturdy is like let's say we put this here and this piece over here right so it's up there I'm just gonna kind of give it a little I don't know if you see they're kind of a, a shine more, more like a satin look it's not super shiny which is really nice uh, maybe this guy like I said will be here so I'm gonna glue that down but then we have this dimension here so while this is flat that's up you can do something similar with this guy but I think I'm just gonna keep him Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the same thing with him. <laughs> Let's do that. And a dimensional piece under his wing. And something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to hold these guys down just to make sure that flat part stays. And I'll be right back. Okay. So how cute is that? A little pocket. The butterfly is kind of flying out there. And I did leave a space here. I was going to put my sentiment here, but you know, I mean, if you want to fill it in, again, we have more butterflies we can cut out. You can even bring like, this guy in. Or a little flowers coming out of the pocket. How cute is that? Um, so I'm just looking at the sentiments here. And you know, we have happy birthday, praying for your speedy recovery. Thank you. Oh, I like thank you. Thinking of you today. We have thank you here. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. Maybe thinking of you today. And I'm going to use my paper trimmer for that. Just, again, I mean, honestly, this one, we can probably just cut it right down here, shouldn't we? Yes, let's do that. Okay, so maybe I don't need to use my paper trimmer. Maybe I'll still use the guillotine. And what we can do is cut right by that black strip. And I'm eyeballing that at this point. I'm not trying to get too close. I'm just trying to see, you know, get that cleared. So I have that, and I left a little bit, right? Trimmed off of there. And I mean, even this whole thing can be cut like this, and that's a panel with the uh, sentiment there. Oh, I'm sorry if um, I forgot I did a little, little close up. Got closer, and maybe it might be a little harder for you guys to see. But okay, so I'm just eyeballing this, loving that. Okay, and then the other side. Well, I guess we can do it this way too. I'm also eyeballing that. <laughs> And hopefully I have a good amount there. That's about the same as the top part. Not too bad. I'm going to take a little bit more off this top piece and then just, um, ooh, you know what we can do? Okay, let me take a little bit more off this top piece and um, I'll so be right back. on this thinking of you, I'm going to take a little bit off of this side. Oop. And on the other side we will just, um, I can take a little bit off. I guess I probably should have done that, but... I'm just going to use my trimmers, which, of course, I already misplaced. Okay, let's just cut that a little bit. And then I'm just going to do this by hand. But again, I mean, yeah, I know we have tons of different dies that will cut tags or things like that. I'm just doing this one by hand. So right down the center, and then you divot either way. And generally, that looks pretty good. Okay. 
So let's bring this little guy back over. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it might need a little dimensional, but not too much. So I'm going to grab a, a lower profile dimensional. Here and here. And just stick that down. So again, very artsy, really pretty, relatively quick, right? Uh, for this kind of thing. And just, that's, you know, what it's about. Just play with it. Um, see what you come up with. I added a little extra stenciling, you know, again, to tie that blue in from the butterflies, and I think it came out really, really sweet. Really fun card. Thank you so much, Bill, for sending these eyes for review. I believe they have another pack of backgrounds that's not from the spring collection. It's a different uh, Stampendous collection, so, uh, of this kind of thing. So I'll try and link all those things, all those things, <laughs> excuse me, in the description box. Thanks for watching, guys. I mean, this is so sweet. All right, um, images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box, and I'll see you all at the next one. Bye now.